Welcome back to Mosh Pits, ladies and gentlemen. This is our third episode of Treasure Bits, where we're digging through piles of garbage on Steam so that you guys don't have to. Yeah. Today we're of... playing something called Billion Beat. This yeah. does not look like trash. No, no it doesn't. It looks, uh, it looks great. It looks promising. It's a little, uh... Uh, from what I understand, it's a little boxing rhythm type game, uh, developed by Dronami, uh, which is cut off on our screen for some reason. I don't know if that'll pick up on the recording or not. No, um, I don't know. This came out, what did we say, January 6th? 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 January yes. 6th. Yeah, so it's a fairly new game. Um, it definitely looks like it has its own style, and I'm interested yeah. to check it out. So. Me too, because this was my pick out of our list. Hell yeah. Let's jump into it. Bow! Uh, should we tutor? Yeah, tutor let's let's go tutorial it as well. Oh, okay. What's up? Oh, Chili D, Lady G. We got sweet, squeaky clean, and sort of useful. Salty, potty mouth, and super useful. That middle dude makes me think of Toji and Monero for some reason. Yeah, I like Chili D. I'm a Chili Chill, D. Sort of clean and sort of useful. This one seems like a good middle of the road type thing. Very cool. Now it's time to get your game on. Hit your opponent three times to proceed. Pow, pow, pow. All right. Radical. Now do me a solid and hold up while attacking to beat the enemy's face three times. Nice. Abba Baba Dose. <laughs> Abba Baba Deuce. You're about to catch his hand, dude. Abba Badaba Dose. Uh, there he is. Ew, did he just jerk off and throw it in my face? I think he did. Whoa, oh, bro! Yeah, the old... Uh, shit. What? How do I... X and square to punch. If <laughs> you play the tutorial, you know. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> I don't want to keep playing anymore. We jerked off on our own face. That was Bushy. Look, you got experience points for each of your hands independently. That's kind of cool. Let's, let's go check out the lockers and see what we can do. Strong damage. I guess that's like hooks and stuff. Um, yeah, okay. Charge max. Pack. I guess you can charge attacks up. Like Let's pack. Oh, who knows, dude. Okay, so <laughs> some of them have special Four effects. D. It's yeah, a fucking 40 ounce. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. This game, there is a lot of... Nipples? What? There's the nipples. He's got nipples. <laughs> Everything has had pronounced nipples so far. Everything. <laughs> Dylan, you played it first. What'd you, uh, what'd you think about Billion Beat, dog? I liked it. I genuinely liked it. Uh, but it's, you know, it's got its flaws. It does um, too. Um, it has a few of them. Let's, uh, let's, let's start at the beginning again. Um, so this is a, it's like a, a boxing game, basically. It's a pretty, as far as like the gameplay loop goes, it's a pretty it's simple like boxing out. game. You're, it's first person, you get in there, you throw some combos, you fight dudes, make money. I guess it had a little bit of a story to it. Like a, a dude comes and roughs up your family, and I guess you're already like just some kind of fighter, and he comes and messes up your family, and then you gotta go make a billion bucks to pay off his boss or something. Yes. Um, a lot of B letters. Yeah. The first thing I think we need to address are the bugs. Yep. Bum bum. Tutorial was... Uh it broken. Yeah. I, I got into a spot where I was trying to throw a left hook because it was teaching me how to do it, and the dude just froze. Yeah. And he would not move, and we kept trying to figure out whether it was the controller or whether it was the game itself. We're pretty sure it was the game. Yeah, because it did it. We we after restarting it, it did it multiple times in yep. the exact same spot. Yep. And uh, like we were able to pause and move in the menu, but it was just like once you got to that point. The game would just lock up. It's like um, you wanted to hit the hook, but it wouldn't let you hit the hook. It and, just freezes. And the problem with this is the fact that in the game, it lets you know, like, when you start story mode, um, if you haven't seen the tutorial, you need to do it. Like, it tells you that you need to go look at the tutorial. Um, it, before the tutorial, even, just trying to launch the game, we had it crash on us a couple of times. I had yep. to uninstall it and reinstall it. And Yep. So, a little buggy. Uh... We did manage to get into we once we actually tried not doing the tutorial and just playing the game. We got into arcade mode and story mode and just fine, and everything seemed like it worked from there. So, like, it's a solid game for some like 
for the actual gameplay that it has. Yeah. Um, Most striking thing that I think we all agreed on was the visuals. Yeah. For sure. This, this was a visually appealing game. And honestly, it seems like one of those games that would be published by, like, Adult Swim games. Yeah, I can if, see that for yeah. sure. Um, it's got an edge to it. Uh, well, even more of an edge if uh, you... That little green dude is very mouthy. And yeah, there's, there there's was... some very... There's some very dicey language in this, and I'm gonna actually say that maybe it might need to be toned back slightly. Yeah, you can turn it off. Tooled. Yeah, you do I mean, have the yeah. option to turn off the profanity, but we were not. The profanity was fine. Yeah. If you've watched the show, we swear plenty, but there was a little bit of ableism slurs being thrown around. Yeah. Which, yeah, which is a little bit problematic, but like that that makes putting games like this like hard to stream or play because you're saying really effed up language. Yeah. Um saying fuck and saying pussy fart that's that's not a big deal yeah the guy did call us a pussy fart which was really funny um but yeah visual graphic style looks incredible unique art style uh a, a neat mix of like low poly 3d models killer with, tracks yeah with some awesome like 2d sprites and stuff the color schemes were great what's what's cool is the the graphics are they seem so busy mm-hmm. but nothing feels like it's too busy like yeah, it, nothing it, feels it, it all feels uh, perfectly agree. fit mm-hmm. with all the different colors and bright things and the mix of 2D and 3D. Yeah, but it it looks great. It's perfect. I the only things I didn't actually really like, and this was from a gameplay standpoint. I don't like the fact that we bust our hands on certain moves, and I don't know if that's just because I haven't learned enough about the tutorial to know that. Okay, well, if you don't. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand yeah. the handbraking thing too much. So the controls to the game are, you, know, you got four buttons in your controller. We're using the PlayStation controller, X square, circle, triangle. You got two for a jab, which is your left hand and your right hand, and two for a hook, mm-hmm. left hand and right hand. And then you can do some combos, uppercuts, whatever. Um, what I understood, and it sucks because we couldn't play the tutorial, but what I understood is if you, you, know, you use one hand too many times, eventually your hand will it'll hurt. Yeah. It'll start flashing red, and then you can't use it for a little bit. Some guy, the last dude that I fought, especially I noticed, and I noticed it when Dylan fought one in arcade mode earlier too, but it was like you throw one punch and then all of a sudden you just can't use that hand anymore. Yeah. So it was and that like, makes it kind of difficult. Yeah. But in a weird sense. It, that's that's the thing that it, like I feel like if we could have gone through the tutorial, we probably would have understood that a little better. But it's yeah. like not being able to do that. It's like, OK, what is causing this to happen after just one punch? Exactly. You know? So this this game is in early access still, so there's there's still being work done to it. Uh, we should probably probably should have prefaced this with that. I yeah. didn't realize yep. that this was one of the early access titles we got a hold of. But but dude, for an early access game, this is solid. It just it needs a little bit more work. Absolutely, yeah. Just if they but iron out some of the bugs, yeah, uh, bugs and gameplay kind of do a retweak on balance and things like that. I know I'm just throwing words out there, but yeah. I, that's all it needs. I, after this point, though. Fuck, dude! I would put this out on like Switch and use fucking boxing controls, dude. Oh, that'd be fun. Like that'd be amazing. That'd be really fun. And this game, like, it's a good game. I'm, I'm gonna give this a solid score. Um, and the price for this too, which How is something else we should have touched on. This, this was an eight dollar. Uh, uh, this is an eight dollar game. Nice. Right now in early access, the price you know subject to change once it's uh, out of early access, but um. So it's it pretty strong for an eight dollar game. Absolutely, yeah, dude, I yeah. would have made this a ten, twelve dollar game. Felt very polished. Um, if it gets polished up a little bit more, shit, yeah, bring it yeah. up to like ten. So uh, that's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know we're gonna probably say it over and over again, but the tutorial being broke makes it so we don't understand what the hell's going on, exactly. especially with the flashing hands. Yeah. Uh, different mechanics like we just don't understand how to play because we couldn't get through the tutorial without it freezing we, we couldn't even understand how to use like the hype uh thing yeah so there's there's something that we haven't touched on yet the uh between there's there's you get something called hype um which is it sounds almost like experience or money or something like that but we don't know what it does or how to use it um, and then there's a level up system where you can level up your left and right hands independently and give them each perks, which I thought was really cool and unique, but not being able to do the tutorial, we don't know what some of the perks do. 
Yeah, yep. there was some called pack that you could level up. Yeah, yeah, and we didn't really know what pack was. So that's it's, you can it's, pack a punch, but I don't, I don't know <laughs> how that applies. Yeah, to it's really unfortunate that we were kind of forced to extrapolate some of that type of stuff on our own. Um, Good word, extrapolate. <laughs> Thank you. Um, aesthetically, this game had a. I mentioned earlier in the night that it, it reminded me a little bit of Toe Jam and Earl, not yeah. in the gameplay itself, but just in like the 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 hip hop alien kind of thing. Yep. Which is cool. It's got a very like hip hop urban sort of feel to it, but it's also like outer spacey and just bizarre at the same time, which yeah. I love. And I kind of like the vulgarity of it. I just think that. Oh, I do too. Uh, yeah. As long as you're not being directly offensive, like there were some directly offensive things yeah. in there. I just say dumbass. Don't use that word. Like it's yeah. You can fucking shit everywhere, and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but not necessarily God. in that order. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Some people like when you do those at the same time. But, oh, I mean, no. oh job. Anyways, no. let's. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, I'm not gonna ask what you do behind the bedroom. Behind um, the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Not in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in front of the house. <laughs> Anyway, uh, um, so I guess we'll go ahead and give it a score now. Um, unless you had anything else general to add? I, I have mean, nothing because I, I feel like this could be really, really good. Just needs a little work. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. We touched on the, the soundtrack and the visuals were definitely the things that really jumped out at Yeah, me. those are boss as fuck. I like that. It's so. a good look. Right, let's just do our scores and final thought are totally arbitrary what is it called chris her super important totally arbitrary mosh bits rating is i give it the four uh i'd probably give it a four too honestly i'm gonna give it a three i'm gonna dock a point for the ableism yeah uh, that's yeah. fair yeah yeah but uh outside of that i i would i would this game's still in early access i would I don't have high hopes for this, but I would like to see that kind of thing taken out moving yeah. forward. But I can agree with that. If if that were addressed, I feel like this could be a really good game. Um, yeah, this but could, uh... I, I can't endorse that type of thing, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, I'll agree with him on that one. But yeah, um, hell yeah, let's see it go further. I want to see it be finished. What do you all think for eight bucks? Would you recommend this or no? Yeah, I mean. Um, like, I don't know if I want someone else to say if they've had trouble with the tutorial, if that's just us, or maybe we're stupid and yeah. we're not doing something. I don't know. I, I don't know about that, because it, it Cause definitely still, locked up. By the all the other reviews on Steam, it sounds like nobody else had an issue. But I mean, it could be a combination of things. Who knows? Might be something specific with your PC. I don't know. Yep. The controller. Yeah. Who um, knows? I guess, I guess PlayStation, do you want to... PS5, do you want to add something here? Very nicely put. All right, well, uh, that was Billion Beat, guys. Hell yeah. Thanks for uh, hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you next time on the Treasure Pit here at Mosh Bits. Beep, beep.